Hello guys, so what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys some more NHL 19 Failure Friday. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Friday as it is the last day until the weekend and actually my last weekend until I have to go back for my last semester of school which is kind of a bummer but also pretty exciting at the same time but uh but let's enjoy this uh, last failure friday before i go back but don't worry i will still be doing failure friday every week that's not that's not changing don't want you guys to take it that way but uh let's see if we can hit 200 likes this episode i know we can do it so go ahead hit that like button show that love and support and subscribe and join the dorsal family if you guys feel ever so kind as we try to get a hundred thousand likes or subscribers before next year so please be sure to join and hit that bell if you have not already all right let's go ahead oh and also remember if you guys have any clips make sure to submit them to nhl failure friday at gmail.com all right now let's go ahead and take a look at our first submission so take a look at this absolute robbery of a goal. And I'm not talking robbery as in a save from the goalie, but a glitch, of course. Take a look at this. This guy looks like he's got an easy backhander, but instead it goes through the net. And it didn't look like it counted either. So that absolutely sucks. All right, so I know I've probably said this before, but this might be it. I think this is the best own goal of all time. Take a look at this one. So it takes a weird bounce off the goalie. And then this guy flips over the goalie and hits it in his own net with his hand when falling. That has to be one of the best own goals, if not the best own goal I've ever seen in the history of NHL. So look at this goalie in the customization uh, screen. Uh, does he not realize that he's holding the stick the wrong way and it's going through his glove? I'm not sure if he's aware, but someone might want to inform him. So it wouldn't be Failure Friday without some fight glitches, right? Of course not. So take a look at this one. Passes this up. He's offside, but he takes the shot anyway. So, of course, someone doesn't take too kindly to it. So, yeah. No fight is going to happen. They don't want to dance, but they want to dance. Not sure what's going on here, but it's a little strange. But they just have, like, this stare off and nothing occurs. So... I'm assuming they're going to each get two minutes for roughing. Look at that replay, though, as well. Golden replay there. I absolutely love it. Nice fight, though, whatever that was. <laughs> All right, so take a look at this absolute killer pass. Beautiful right here. So it looks like they got the goalie pulled, or it's a uh, delayed penalty, one or the other. So he's going to pass it. His teammate misses it. goes by absolutely everyone. And I'm sure we all know what's going to happen here. As you can see, there is absolutely no goalie in the net. So that is going to go right on in for a good old own goal. Gotta love it. I also had to show another one of these clips of just a player taking an absolute beating from his own goalie. How about that? I, ha I had to include that one, guys. It had to happen. Also, I guess this could kind of go as a fail. I'm playing shootout with this guy. And... I don't think he enjoyed playing against me as the game paused and I thought to myself, is he really going to? And he did. He ended up rage quitting on me. So I wasn't quite sure why you would quit a shootout, but I, I guess it is what it is. All right, so take a look at this fight. We got these two guys going after each other, right? And this guy's going to land a haymaker, but his helmet comes off. He had two. He was double protected. Wow, I don't know what uh what how he managed to do that, but I got to give the power to him. I don't know how you can get two helmets on at once, but very impressive, I must say. How about this perfectly timed backflip for a celebration by Bailey backflipping over Yupi at the most, you know, perfect time. You can't really complain about that. I mean, he, he did go through him a little bit. You know, it looked like the head did definitely go in his butt a little bit. <laughs> but, hey, I, he still landed okay. All the mascots seemed unharmed. So, nice. I guess that was a success. So, get a load of this absolute goon. Look at this dude. This guy is just going absolute ham on every player. This guy just runs into him and goes down. This guy he hits, but he's not done. He He's not had enough. That's three guys he's taken out. Make it four. A little bit, not as much, and then he's got the puck. 
So after all that, he takes the puck away and just absolutely rocks four guys. So yeah, how about that? I, that's a guy I want on my team. So not sure if this is more skill or bad goaltending, but it's definitely bad goaltending. Take a look at this. He just flicks it back open for the best. And goalie decides to move his stick away from the puck. So, yeah, very poor goaltending, if you ask me. Definitely could have been a little bit better. So, it really seems like the helmet glitch has some good luck to it. Because take a look at this guy. So, it's just standing in one spot, right? And then the helmet just decides to go. And once it goes, he's going to end up, you know, pummeling this guy. He picks up the puck. And then what does he do? He helps get his team a goal. Looks like he picked up an assist there. So it looks like you're going to be getting a point if that helmet glitched. Because I, I remember seeing someone, I think it was last Failure Friday or at least one of the previous ones, we saw a player get the helmet glitch and he ended up scoring. So it looks like it's got some good luck to it. So uh, take a look at this very impressive goal, even though I don't think it was very ten intentional, which makes me think that uh, it probably did count. So it goes off the glove of the goalie, and then this guy like elbows it into the net actually now that I look at it it did kind of look intentional as it looked like he put his elbow up but I don't know if that counted or not but that would be pretty awesome if it did but not awesome if you were on the team that gave it up <laughs> and now how about this goal now this is I guess a, a good way to celebrate even if you didn't mean to do it he shoots it gets the goal trips over the goalie loses his lid as well and he scores himself as well and then he just bats the, the helmet out of the net with his stick. But he gets back up to celebrate. He was a good sport about it, which is good to see. Take a look at <laughs> take a look at this helmet glitch. Look at that. Whoa. I don't know why that I found that so funny, but he's got it just his like cheeks got like so puffy there. I don't know what happened, but I mean I guess with, when you have the strap through your cheeks, I guess that would maybe have that effect. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> So how about this absolute fail of a clear in their zone and he just shoots it and it goes out of play and it ends up being a penalty. That sucks. And here we go again. We got ourselves another fight glitch. Take a look at this one. So this guy wants to dance with this guy, but instead he's just going to uh, stand inside him and just stand there, not move, not try and do anything. I'm not sure what is happening this year, but we have seen an absolute great amount of fight glitches, especially lately, I feel like. So not quite sure what's occurring, but hey, keep the fails coming. Get a load of this awesome sportsmanship. So it looks like this guy wants to hug my character after he scores. All right, buddy, let's hug. Oh, you gotta love it. What a great sport. So this clip is actually from the same guy as the last one, and this guy gave up an absolute BS goal. I would have been furious if this was me. Take a look. This goal is in total BS. This guy gets tripped up by my goalie, and the goalie sweeps it into his own net. Oh, man. If that was me, I would be furious. Ta talk about complete BS. I mean, he just poked that in with his own stick. And, and, there, and, I mean, it wasn't your fault. There's nothing you could have done about it. That was just the, the goalie animation. But, yeah, not a good goal to give up. I would be absolutely, like I said, furious. But, yeah, hopefully that's something. I mean, it is a good thing because it is on Failure Friday, so it gives us some content. But it's still something very frustrating, and I know I would not want it to happen to me. But hopefully we do see something like that fixed for, uh, for next year. Well, guys, I think that that is just about going to do it for this episode of Failure Friday. I hope you all enjoyed. By the way, tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern time, I have a new trading for McDavid with a new team coming out tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So be sure to check that out. I don't want to say what team it is, but I will probably uh, announce it on Saturday at some point. Uh, make a post about it on YouTube. So definitely be sure to check that out. And uh, also... I will be debuting Dorsalfin at 1 p.m. Eastern time, most likely on Saturday with his new team or with the Sabres, depending on what the contracts are and what the votes were. So be sure to check that out as well. 
And, uh, yeah, Sunday's plan is to do a kicker-punter career mode at 1 and a Nordique start out their new season to defend the Cup at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So that's the schedule. It is subject to change, but that is most likely what I have going up for this weekend. So I just wanted to let you guys know. And, uh, and yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember, if you guys have any clips, make sure to submit them to NHL. Failure Friday at gmail.com. And again, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.